hi everyone welcome back to sahab academy today in this eighth video of labor costing chapter we are going to solve our second problem of idle time topic and this question is from the ici study material illustration 2 and the interesting thing about this question is here we have to calculate as usual effective hourly rate and then the important thing is here we have to do the allocation of wages to the jobs okay different jobs are there so we have to properly allocate that and then one more thing is that here we have abnormal idle time so how will we treat with abnormal idle time what allocation will be there everything we'll see right now in this question okay and in the previous video we have solved you know the first problem of this topic ICI illustration 1 right and the entire concept with 100% logic I have explained so if you don't know about this topic then please watch the seventh video of this chapter and then only come back to this video okay so now let's begin let's just read the question now and let's understand what has been said over here now see here in a factory working six days in a week and eight hours each day so till here we come to know what are the total hours in this factory okay so let's calculate here they have given us weekly figures okay so six days in a week they are saying sunday is holiday and eight hours each day so six into eight that's equal to 48 hours in the previous problem there were yearly figures yeah 2000 hours and all here it's weekly figures so we'll convert everything in week in weekly figures okay so six uh, days into eight hours that's 48 hours is it clear these are the total hours fine then they are saying a worker is paid at the rate of rupees 100 per day basic plus dearness allowance at 120 percent of basic okay so this is our labor cost they are saying so we can easily calculate that yeah uh, basic they are saying 100 rupees per day right so how many days are there in a week we need weekly figures so 100 into 6 days that's equal to 600 this is the basic pay of a week of a single week is it clear and then dearness allowance 120 percent of this so you can easily calculate 600 into 1.2 yeah that will give you 120 percent dearness allowance is 720 rupees is that clear simple and straightforward 120 percent and then see here he is allowed to take 30 minutes off during his hour shift for meals break and 10 minutes recess for the rest right so here we get to know that in this question we also have normal idle time yeah meals break and recess for rest these are what normal idle time isn't it you cannot reduce them you cannot avoid them it's unavoidable so these are normal idle time 30 minutes and 10 minutes but now understand this is per day you have to convert this in weekly figures right so how will you do that it's really simple yeah how will you do and you have to convert it in hours also you have to convert it in six days and hours also both the things you have to do first let's convert it in six days okay see it's really simple 30 minutes plus 10 minutes yeah so in total that's 40 minutes so 40 minutes into six days right so that's equal to 240 minutes isn't it don't worry i will show you exactly how it is done properly in the paper but right now I'm just giving you an overview so 240 minutes right 240 minutes in the entire week that's the normal idle time you divide this by 60 minutes because you're converting it into hours so divide by 60 that's equal to four hours is it clear this is how you have to convert so normal idle time in a week in hours are four hours is it clear simple you understood so let's just put this in the paper now let's just see the solution okay uh, let's just see the requirement first see here state how would you allocate the wages of the workers for the week so they are talking about allocation so we have to do the you know the entire calculation then only we will be able to allocate entire calculation means first we need effective hourly rate and then only uh, we can allocate right so see here let's see the solution now total hours you know six days into eight hours yeah directly you are able to do that six days into eight hours i showed you 48 hours in the entire week and then normal idle time which we just calculated see 30 minute recess plus 10 minutes rest isn't it sorry 30 minutes meal break and 10 minutes rest right so that's 40 minutes into six days that was 240 
yeah 40 minutes in a day so into 6 you have to do that's equal to 240 minutes in the entire week divide by 60 that's equal to 4 hours is it clear this is the normal ideal time now we need to calculate you know effective hours isn't it how do we calculate effective hours you all know total hours minus normal idle time hours right so 48 minus 4 that's all you have to do see total hours minus normal idle time hours 48 minus 4 that's equal to 44 hours so 44 hours are the productive hours is it clear if we exclude the normal idle time then 44 hours should be productive isn't it the worker should be completely working in these 44 hours isn't it yes those are productive hours or effective hours we call it technically right yes now after this what we have to do we have to calculate the labor cost why because you all know to calculate effective rate per hour two things we need isn't it total labor cost and effective hours we got the effective hours right 44 hours we need total labor cost labor cost is given over here yeah they have said basic pay is 100 per day and da is 120 percent of basic so let's calculate that see here statement showing effective hourly rate calculation particulars amount all weekly figures we are taking over here basic pay is what 100 into 6 days 100 per day into 6 days so that's 600 is it clear simple now 120 percent of 600 you have to take yeah 600 into 1.2 yeah, that's 120 percent in decimals isn't it so that's equal to 720 rupees so 720 rupees will be the dearness allowance yeah so in total our labor cost is how much 1320 now what we have to do we have to divide it by the effective hours the formula of this effective rate per hour or effective hourly rate or effective cost per hour yeah so many different names are there so just use this formula over here yeah 1320 this is your labor cost divided by effective hours effective hours you have calculated over here just divide that 1320 divide by 44 that's equal to 30 rupees so 30 rupees is what it is the effective hourly rate okay or effective rate per hour is it clear 30 rupees did you understand this how did we do this yeah so now we have to talk about allocation yeah how are we going to allocate the wages yes so let's just read what's happening let's read the question during a week his card showed that his time was chargeable to job x 15 hours job y 12 hours job z or z 13 hours right so these are the hours the employee the worker has worked so let's just add this and find out okay see here let me just show you uh effective hours are 44 hours yeah when we found out the effective hours are 44 hours which means that the worker should have worked productively for 44 hours because we have excluded the normal idle time so if we see here in his card yeah 15 plus 12 plus 13 these are the actual hours worked by him okay the hours booked also we call it so that's equal to 40 15 plus 12 plus 13 is equal to 40 but according to the effective hours it's 44 he should have worked for 44 but in reality he has worked only for 40 why is that why is there is a difference why there is a difference of four hours extra four hours that's because of abnormal idle time see here the time not booked the time not booked was wasted wasted while waiting for a job so four hours have been wasted in waiting for a job so understand normally if the worker is waiting from one shift to diff, you know another shift of job shifting of jobs we call it at that time it takes only you know five minutes ten minutes that's normal idle time but here it's such a huge number four hours so this is not normal this is abnormal yeah there was no work and the workers were sitting idle yeah so that's why this is abnormal idle time is it clear that's why it has to be charged to costing profit and loss you all know that yes yeah so this four hours yeah how will we find abnormal idle time really simple now how effective hours are 44 and then booked hours are 40 44 minus 40 four hours abnormal idle time let me just show you see here 
abnormal idle time is equal to effective hours yeah the productive hours according to our calculation minus hours actually booked for jobs right so see effective hours are 44 and then the hours in his card were how much 15 12 13 x y z yeah so 15 plus 12 plus 13 if you add up then it gets it comes out to be 40 hours so 44 minus 40 that's equal to 4 hours is it clear so 4 hours are what abnormal idle time so cost of this abnormal idle time will be transferred to costing profit and loss 4 hours have been wasted isn't it so now there is a cost for this employees will be paid workers will be paid yeah it's the fault of the factory of the management right so now what will happen this cost 4 hours into what 4 hours into 30 because our effective hourly rate is 30 so 4 into 30 that's equal to how much that equal to uh, 120 rupees so 120 rupees will go where it will go to costing profit and loss that's how it will be allocated yeah cost of this abnormal you know idle time will be transferred to costing profit and loss how much 4 hours into 30 is it clear simple so now let's just see the allocation of wages yeah that's same thing see here allocation of wages here they have asked you see here uh, state how would you allocate the wages of the workers for the week so how will we allocate see it's really simple allocation of wages particulars amount okay job x y z 30 rupees 30 rupees is the effective hourly rate and the worker has worked on job x for 15 hours on y for 12 hours on z for 13 hours right so 13 to 15 that's 450 13 to 12 that's 360 13 to 13 that's 390 is it clear yeah and then what you have to do you have to take the abnormal idle time as well charge to costing profit and loss what abnormal idle time how how will you calculate four hours now abnormal idle time is four hours so four hours into rupees 30 the same effective hourly rate i have just written it you know uh, inversely because i just wanted to make you understand properly so that it would look different okay yeah so 4 hours into 30 that's equal to 120 fine so if we add up all of this 450 plus 360 plus 390 plus 120 that's equal to 1320 this is the total labor cost now we have to interpret properly that's the main thing okay fine you understood how to solve and everything but you should understand technically what does it mean see here it's really simple employee how much did employee got employee got 1320 yeah completely he got this amount okay but while doing the cost accounting what we have to do we have to allocate this cost properly because that worker has done separate separate jobs on job x he has done 15 hours on job y 12 hours on job z 13 hours so we have to allocate the cost according to that okay we got the effective hourly rate 30 and then we allocated that isn't it on job x y and z so now in the job cost sheet just remember job costing in job cost sheet what will happen 450 labor cost will be there direct labor right so this 450 will be recovered this cost will be recovered from the customer of job x okay from job x similarly with job y also 360 will be recovered from the customer of job y yeah our customer i'm saying is it clear and then this 120 this is the loss for the company because this 120 is being paid to the workers but there has been no work done this was idle time abnormal idle time since this is abnormal idle time what should happen it should go to costing profit and loss in costing profit and loss it should go on the debit side yeah isn't it loss due to abnormal idle hours shall be charged to costing profit and loss is it clear this is the logic you have to understand the whole picture okay fine i hope you have understood this it's really simple and this conversion is also very important huh see 30 minutes plus 10 minutes that's 40 minutes then we found out how many minutes in the entire week that was 240 minutes and we divided by 60 to get in hourly figures that was four hours that was four hours isn't it yes so yeah that's all for this video i hope you have understood this it was really simple it's not difficult if you have any doubts in this please comment down below or you can also just take a screenshot and directly ask i don't say hi and all directly send the entire message okay yeah so that's all that's all for this video see you in the next video bye